Hey everybody, I'm Lance Goyke. Today we're going to discuss rest periods for strength work. So the first thing you need to ask yourself, if you don't, you know, if you don't have this little rule that you read in some book or on some article somewhere, um, the first thing you need to ask yourself is what is the purpose of your training? So if you're training for strength, I need to, I need to just sit back and logically think, you know, not even physi physiologically or anything. Um, what is the purpose of my training? What rest period will help me achieve that training goal? So if I want to build strength, I need to think, okay, how can I stress my strength maximally? Well, I can't do that very well if I'm fatigued, correct? Correct, Lance. Uh, yes, so what we need is a rest period that is long enough to minimize the amount of fatigue that is accumulated. So with any you know training session, you're going to get fatigue that happens even if you rest five minutes between your sets, right? It's inevitable, you can't avoid it. But what I can do is I can maximize the amount of recovery by implementing rest periods that are two, three, five, ten minutes long, depending on how strong you are, and the amount of neuromuscular involvement that you have in your, your exercises there. And I can, I can use those long periods to make sure that I'm able to demonstrate my strength and able to stress my strength. Um, so big ideas here, like from a physiological standpoint, is there's not a whole lot of local muscular fatigue. That's not the name of this game, right? When I'm, when I'm doing a strength activity, I'm not primarily using that lactic anaerobic energy system. I am primarily using my alactic anaerobic energy system. So I don't get as much fatigue accumulating, uh, you know, during the set, but I still need time for that alactic system to replenish itself, for the aerobic system to help, um, clear out byproducts and to help, uh, reestablish a, a like energy balance kind of idea in this local muscular pool of energy. So that's the, I mean, that's the big thing. The short answer is rest at least two minutes if the set wasn't that hard, rest 10 minutes if you're super freaky strong, and for most people rest like three to five minutes.